What's up everybody, Oxyblock here and today I want to welcome you to another modded tutorial. We're gonna be looking at how to install the replay mod in uh, Fabric in 1.16.1. This replay mod is gonna allow us to record uh, not only what our player sees but actually have a very nice and cinematic camera that can follow us, can do different paths, it's gonna be really amazing. But uh, I wanted to showcase a little bit how you actually get this installed, how you get it working. Uh, within the parameters of 1.16.1. So let's not uh, drag too long and jump into it. In order to install the replay mod, we are going to need a, a total of three downloads. The first one is going to be Fabric, and Fabric is going to allow us to launch a game version that has uh, Optifine in it. Uh, so we're just going to go into the fabric.net slash uh, use, and we're just going to click on the download install installer over here. I use the .jar, it gives me no problem. You should be able to use this one as well, but if you can, I would just go with this one. Um, right after that, we can go into the replaymod.com, and this is actually the people who have created the mod. And over here, which says uh, different um, downloads for each world, we're going to just choose the 1.16.1 and just hit download. As you can see, it's downloading right now. We're just going to hit uh, keep. As again, uh, neither of these are registered, and Google Chrome is always going to let you know that the file uh, seems fishy. And last but not least, we're gonna download the FFmpeg. What this is gonna do is let us uh, convert the videos we're gonna be recording within the replay mod so we can actually output an MP4 video and we can work around with it. So this one is a little bit more um, intricate. We're gonna go over here to this download button. We're gonna hover, in my case, since I play on Windows, um, over through here, but we're not gonna click. And then we're gonna go over uh, to this spot over here, which says Windows Builds by Zerano. I'm sure I just butchered that. But this automatically um, defaults to the latest uh, version. So you should be able to just hit uh, Download Build and it's actually download into a zip file. Uh, we're gonna leave it downloaded and we're gonna put them all into the um, desktop so you can check them out. So with all the downloads done, we can go ahead and search for our downloads uh, folder. We can just uh, click over here and we can see that we have all three of uh, the mods downloaded. We can drag them over to the desktop just to make things a little easier and uh, go ahead and begin the installation. The first thing that we have to do is install Fabric. Now, this is super easy. Just double click, but make sure that you are installing Fabric for 1.16.1. The reason why is because the replay mod has not been optimized for 1.16.2 yet. Um, so we'll just have to just deal with it and install that version of Minecraft. Once the replay mod is um, optimized for the new version, we probably can just reinstall Fabric in 1.16.2 and then the replay mod should work. But for now, we'll just do 1.16.1 and this is going to install it within your uh, my .minecraft folder. So we're just going to install it. It's just gonna tell you that maybe you require a Fabric API, for example, uh, Sodium, a mod that we did a little tutorial on how to install uh, uses Fabric API. Um, but once you're done with that, it should be good. You don't need Fabric anymore. You can go ahead and delete it. For the next step, we're gonna open that .minecraft folder. And the way that we're gonna do is just come down here to the search bar and type percentage app data and then percentage, and then you can just hit enter. So this uh, folder is going to pop up and has a lot of your games in here, um, but most specifically, it will have the .minecraft folder. You can double click on it. And over here, what you're going to want to do is look for this mods folder over here. We're going to double click it and we're going to drag this replay mod in here. I already have them. You will not get that message. But once you're done with that, this is all you need to do for this part. Uh, you're not going to need to have the replay mod or the... Um, installer anymore in the desktop you can go ahead and put them in your recycle bin or delete them um, you're good to launch the actual game right now so we're going to go ahead and start the uh, minecraft launcher over here and we should see yes there it is and we're going to see a new um, world uh, a new release a new game that we're going to be able to launch uh, that says fabric loader 1.16.1 now if you don't see this but you have followed every single step in the process don't you worry over here in installations you should be able to create a new one, uh, name it, for example, uh, Forge 1.16.1. Uh, and over here, which says late, instead of latest release, just choose the one that says uh, Release Fabric Loader 1.16.1. If you hit uh, Create, you will see that over here you have a new version that you can actually play, and it will have the 1.16.1 uh, in Fabric. 
Now, I do want to point something out, and it's that uh, this replay mod will not work if you have sodium installed in your computer. Um, as long as you have, you're running a fabric, your fabric is going to detect that sodium mod and it's going to want to launch it. If you have that, you will not be able to do both sodium and the replay mod. So you'll have to actually go over here to uh, the mods folder, select the sodium and delete it. it you don't have to delete it. If you want to be switching between one or the other, you could just maybe drag it to another folder that you have uh, maybe on your desktop and then bring it back once you want to just use sodium but this is something to keep into mind something i did encounter that brought me issues and i wanted to point it out uh, so so that you guys don't run into the same issue but with that being said uh, i'm gonna go ahead and launch uh, the fabric 1.16.1 so as you can see we have the replay viewer uh, we are in minecraft 1.16.1 within the fabric mod everything is fine but we are just one step away from being done if you stopped right now you will be able to record the videos but you're not going to be able to um, see them or export them. So what we're gonna do is actually just jump into a whatever world you have. Uh, in this one, for example, I'm in the Nether, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start recording from the um, this main menu. So I'm just recording real quick. It's not gonna be anything fancy, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and stop recording. Once I'm stopped recording, um, this should be saved in the main menu. So we're just gonna go back to the main menu, hit replay viewer, and here we got it. We have uh, this um, replay saved. We're going to go ahead and click on it and load it. So we just jumped into the recording and you can see me bobbing and jumping around. This is the video that we just recorded. And what we're going to want to do is just try to save this video. The way that we're going to do that is really simple. We're not going to play much with it um, since uh, this is just in order to set the directions from the FFmpeg to the replay mod. And what you're going to want to do is hit the T on your keyboard. And then over here in this bottom part portion of uh, the, your options, just add a um, position keyframe and a time keyframe and then move over maybe to like eight seconds and do the same thing again. What this is gonna do is gonna create a video from here to here that you're gonna wanna use. And then you just wanna hit on this button that says render camera path. This is gonna pop up, it's gonna be the menu on all right, so how do you wanna call it, where do you wanna save it, whatnot. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom over here, uh, we are not going to have a, an address here and you're going to want to copy one. The way that we're going to do that, we're just going to alt tap real quick from the uh, game. This is where the FFmpeg is going to come into action. We're going to double click it over here where it says extract all. Just hit that button. But we want to actually save it in a specific folder. We're going to go to C. We're going to go to program files x86. And over here is where we want to extract it. So we're just going to select this folder and extract it there. We're going to hit continue. And the, your computer will transfer all the files within the FFmpeg into that folder that is going to be creating within the program files uh, times 86. But once your um, FFmpeg has um, finished extracting itself into the uh, program files folder, you can go ahead and uh, click on uh, C, click on program files, look for the FFm folder over here and hit on the bin folder. Now you're gonna want to choose this FFmpeg. You don't need to run it, just right button on it and hit go to properties. This location is what actually we need to copy. We're gonna copy this real quick. We're gonna hit cancel, no problems there. And we're gonna come over here and paste all of that over here. Just do control V, control C. And then we still have to add something else. You just wanna do a backslash FFmpeg.exe. Once you have that added into this spot over here, you're good to go. You're done installing everything. You don't need to do anything else. You can just hit that render button. That's gonna render the video. It's gonna save it and you will be good. Uh, you have installed the replay mod. You can do lots of things with this. Um, there's many tutorials out there explaining how to use it. I may be releasing one in the future, but uh, this is uh, completely done. We can open the video folder and see that indeed the video has saved obviously there's no motion because i didn't um, create any specific video but it works it's fantastic it's an amazing mod uh, such a learning curve for this mod but uh, i really recommend it for everybody that is uh, into making some videos and stuff like that it's amazing so i hope you enjoyed that video if you did please uh, hit the like button if you really liked it uh, make sure to subscribe and i will see you guys in the next episode have a great one